Hello Internet, welcome to NS3 installation guide video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to illustrate how you can install NS3 on your Ubuntu machine. Before you install NS3, there is a huge list of prerequisites that you need to install. You could do that by copying this command on the terminal window. And by the way, you could get uh, this command in in the description section of this video so the first step is to start installing the prerequisites or or the things which are essential to run NS3 on your Ubuntu machine it'll ask you for your super user password so you could enter that and press um, yes when it prompts you to install the libraries and packages and this process is going to take a lot of time in uh, as you could see I'm in a very very slow connection here today and it is asking me to enter all right and um, along with this video you can download this text file which is a series of uh, steps that you need to follow to install ns3 the first uh, step is to as i said earlier is to install all the prerequisites the second step is to download ns3 and then you could um, ins install all the examples and packages in ns3 and test it and one very strong recommendation is visiting this site nsnam.org you could visit its wiki because this site is actually going to tell you what these packages do the ones we are installing so and anything and everything that you need to know about ns3 can be found on this website if you're serious about doing some work on ns3 you must visit wiki of ns3 and this is going to take a huge amount of time uh, so i'm going to pause this video and i'll be back all right the installation is uh, i'm sorry the download is done and it is now unpacking all the things that it has downloaded from the internet okay now you need to make a new directory by the name of ns3 let's go into that directory and copy this command to download NS3 from its official website and please make sure the version is 3.19 and this is again going to take around 5 to 6 minutes depending upon the connection All right, the download is done. The next step is to unzip this compressed file. We could use the tar command to unzip it. Okay, let's see if you've gotten a folder yes we've gotten a folder by the name of ns all in one 3.19 uh, we'll go into this folder we'll go to ns 
3.19 and then we'll copy this command Uh, this is basically building all the all the structure with examples and the scenarios and the protocols and everything for ns3 please make sure you run this command while you are in the ns all in one 3.19 folder Now out of 22, 32 packages, it, it, it is on 820 right now. So this thing again takes a lot of time. So you so we'll need to be real patient with this. And if you look closely, it is going to tell you what all what all modules are um, are being built by NS3 right now. Alright, we are almost there. There are not more than 10 steps that we need to religiously follow to install NS3 on a, win on a Unix machine and all, all these steps are written in the description section J you just need to follow as a matter of fact you can simply copy and paste these instructions onto your terminal and this should do just fine alright all the modules are built and it will tell you the list of modules that it could not build so that's okay uh, if you get this message build finished successfully uh, uh, that goes to show that uh, we're good to go and then we need to go into NS uh, 3.19 folder and inside that folder you could see the WAF command and we are going to uh, build uh, with WAF command also Alright, uh, configure finished successfully and now we can test the installation and if we pass this test then we are ready to roll. Alright, it, it, it's telling me that 291 of 294 tests were passed and none of them failed actually, 3 skipped. So we are ready to go now. In the next tutorial we'll discuss uh, scenarios and thank you so much for watching this video. You have a very very good day and a good life. Bye bye.